Abigail, I take you to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. Rob, I take you to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, or for poorer. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Funny story, I did not like to sleep by myself. I've never slept very well, so when she was like yay big, I used to come and convince her, toddler Abigail, come out of your crib, you really don't want to sleep by yourself, come spend the night with me in my room. That lasted about two weeks, and she's like, no, Catherine, I really want to sleep by myself. And she's continued with that determined sense of who she wants to be <laughs> her entire life. You can stop walking. Okay, the person who looks like right now. Gravy. Beautiful. All I can think of is Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail. I hope you can bring the patience and care of your job as a teacher to your life with Rob. You're gonna need it. I was so excited that I was going to get a baby sister. I wrote poems, I drew pictures. When she came, she was better than I could even imagine. Abigail, you look amazing tonight. What's more amazing than how beautiful you look is that you actually said yes. <laughs> oh, we found one of your shots. <laughs> you messed up my makeup. It looks better this way. <laughs> Wait, but actually I gotta take it off because I didn't hold my, my sleeves. I'll just do it. There you go. Now this is I 
see a fiercely loyal man. I see greatness and intelligence, and I see one of the kindest and best humans I have ever known. I see my home, but most of all, I see my husband. In a world such as ours, it doesn't seem possible for a person like you to exist. Your kindness and caring for me and for others is something I'd never seen before or anything that I've ever seen since. I pledge to support you in all that you do. When you don't see your beauty and all the mirrors in the house deceive you, I will remind you of how you look to me right now and every day as the most beautiful woman that I've ever met. And finally, Abigail, I want you to know that you are the most important person in my world, and there is no one I would rather walk through this life with. I love you lots and lots. From now until the end of time, you may seal your vows with a kiss. this ring to wear with love and joy. Been knocking at your door. As this ring has no end, my love is also everlasting. I know one thing for sure. I'll be a partner by your side, a cheerleader who has your back, and a teacher when you need to be led. But most of all, I promise to be your wife. The person who will support you through the trials, respect you through the joys, you are the only man I will ever love as long as we grow together. I, Abigail, give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As this ring has no end, my love is also everlasting. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Sometimes hard, um, but so very worth the effort. So very worth the effort.
the new Mr. and Mrs. Robert Wolfset. I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer. Even when things are sad, remember that's still a time to learn, still a time to grow. There's still beauty and joy there. And don't be afraid to enjoy the happy times. And I hope you have mostly those, and I love you so much. pray for you both that your love will be unselfish, grow continually, your communication will be clear, disagreement short-lived, that the greatest joy would permeate you both to your very soul. All my love and my very, very best of wishes. To Abigail, to Rob, to their future together, may you always be well. May you always continue to grow in joy and in happiness and in wisdom. God bless. I met you in the summer. May your marriage be blessed, fruitful, and enduring. I am pleased to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Allen Wolfsets.